Okay. Hey guys, Gabriel here, and welcome to my next Q&A that I am doing. This is actually, I have been planning on doing this for a while, and of course on my Facebook page, you can, um, of course on my Facebook page, I have already put up two posts for Q&A questions. At hashtag Ask Gabriel Cruz, which could, of course, I'm doing that stuff on my channel, which actual hashtags. But anyways, I am going to be beginning my first Q and A off of Facebook. Anyways, let me get on Facebook real quick. It only take like a split second. Not a split. Ah, I'm the wrong thing. No. I am so, I cannot handle this device right now. I am so angry. So um, now I'm on Facebook. Now I'm on Facebook and I am going to um, now get to the q and Going to, I'm going to the search section by the, this, this thing, just a little shit. Okay, this is me. Uh, hashtag AS, ASK, underscore, oh, my lord, okay. So, now, now that I am on Facebook, let's get on with the video. Yeah. Okay, anyway, first one is the comments I am going to is, what is the largest volcanic eruption in recorded history? Well, largest volcanic eruption in human history is the Toba eruption 75,000 years ago. It was literally the largest... Well, okay, my Aunt Carrie Schaefer asked, the, asked that question. And the answer is Toba's eruption 75,000 years ago. And it was literally one of the deadly... It almost, there was about, one, about almost 2 million people inhabiting the Earth. It literally brought the population down to about 9,500 people inhabiting the earth. Anyways, next, what? Sure. Okay. My grandma, Karen O'Donnell, asks, how often does your spider eat? Which is Rose. She actually eats a cricket usually once a day, but now she's been slowing down on eating because, well, well, she... She has slowed down in eating, but she used to eat once a day, but now she stopped eating quite as much anyways. And also, she actually really, really, I don't know why, but she, every time I feed her cricket, cricket, she just ignores it, and then what, once she gets hungry, the, the crickets think it's safe inside of her hide until they realize Rose is right behind them, too late, no, 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 eat some. Okay, anyways, um... No! Ugh, this is sort of going to be a short Q&A. Anyways. Um. Okay, I need to go to the comments. Okay. Another one, my grandma Karen O'Donnell asks, which volcano has the most people in the world living near it? Honestly, I don't know. It's, all, it's in a different country than the United States. Because the United States volcanoes are mostly in the Cascade Mountain Range on the West Coast. And those volcanoes don't have, they have a lot of people living around them, especially Mount Rainier. Because Mount Rainier is near a lot of cities in Washington, like Ording, Tacoma, Seattle, um, Enumclaw, Kent, many cities. It's over 11 cities is nearby. So that means it has... Um, Mount Rainier has about 200,000 people living near it, but the one with the most people living near it is in Asia somewhere. Anyways, sorry this Q&A was so short, but anyways, this is the end of my Q&A.
Q&A. Anyways, see you all next time. Have a good night. Peace out in the world, everyone. Goodbye.